Allahabad High Court recently called for declaring Gamata National Animal and the fundamental rights debate uh, is going on. Now, you foresaw this way back in 2015 where you wrote an article in the Sunday Guardian on the similar lines, not exactly. Can you recall that argument that you made, uh, why it is necessary for us to do so? See, uh, actually, when we call something sacred in, in Hindu thinking, we call it sacred because it's very important for our existence. We worship rivers because we revere worship because we revere nature because without nature we cannot survive. We salute uh, uh, sun with Gayatri Mantra because you know sun is the ultimate source of everything when you do. It's true. So this reverence for everything which is useful of our existence, our life, our, our nurturing and our uh, wealth, we worship these things. But it is not religion. It is sense of reverence which makes us worship these people. So when we talk of cow, cow is central to our economy. Still, cow can be central to our economy because we see our period. So my article basically was that cow protection is not a religious issue. It's a science issue. If you read various scientific journals today, the major cause of global warming is uh, the farming of uh, cattle to provide beef. So the huge miles and miles of farmland that are there in USA and now, now Brazil has fallen in the same trap by mm-hmm. cutting jungles and creating farms for rearing cattle. And we talk about uh, how much water is consumed by one, one burger compared to what is being used by the purposes. I have given various examples. Now there are, uh, I, I think, uh, Swedish army and also UAE, they are giving one day off to non-vegetarianism. Vegan movement has picked up. So this uh, organic farming has picked up. People who went for inorganic farming, their agricultural land have gone waste in within 200, 300 years. In Punjab, where we talked of green revolution, now there are largest number of pesticides, larger, uh, largest quantities of inorganic uh, fertilizers, and people are dying of cancer. People are dying of lack of, uh, and they, they are suffering because of lack of water, unlimited water, wrong crops, and inorganic food, which hurts us. Now the same West is asking for organic food. But we had organic farming for last 5,000, 6,000 years back. That is why we revered cow because every product of cow is useful for your farming, for your family, for your health. That is scientifically proven through Ayurveda and also new experiments. So that is the reason we require cow. That is the reason we got desi cow because it has much better qualities of milk and uh, its own various products. So I said to save the planet, we need cow. And now since everybody is paying double and triple price for organic food, the people who taught us in organic farming, we have to go back to our roots. So I said that we need to protect cow for our own health, for our own well-being, for our own nature, for saving the environment. Mm -hmm. This is the reason we worship cow. Now it is is a religious belief. We say that if you look at any other custom at opt of worship in nature and worshiping cow in the same context, so we will, we want the sacredness to go because we treat nature as sacred. We treat every element of the nature as sacred. We are the only people who know Shanti part, not just worship for the two legs that is men, but also four legged insects, plants and everything. So this sense of oneness with the nature is that is what is Hinduness. That is what the world requires. And that is why I said cow must be protected, because, not, not because we worship it. We worship it because we cannot really have a good life without it. Please remember to subscribe to us and switch on the notifications for this channel. For our other social media links, more content and to support our work, please visit citti.net. Dhanyavad. Namaskar.